Hi, this is Dr. Charlie Peterson. I'm the author of Dude, Where's My Profit? Uh, today I want to talk about accruals and deferrals. Before I begin, I want to just quickly introduce you to my backward C ledger. Uh, you'll notice that I have got the four, five general categories of accounts, asset, liability, stockholders, equity, revenue, and expense. Every number goes into one or more of these five general categories. And the accounts on the left side of the ledger record increases on the left. So all the accounts over here record increases as a debit. On the right side of the ledger, they record increases as a credit. Now, if you're not familiar with this, please go to my website, www.dudewordsmyprofit.com, and I have a free video there which really explains clearly what my whole program is all about. I use T accounts primarily to explain accounting. So let's start out with an accrual. The word accrual means to collect or accumulate. An accrual is a gradual uh, collection of, uh, in this particular case, uh, revenues that have already been received, all right, uh, have not been recognized, I'm sorry. The word recognize in accounting means um, to get it into the accounting system. All right, so let's get going on this. Let's get some money in the business here. Okay, so we go to the bank and we borrow $1,000 and we give the bank a note payable. There's your debit, there's your credit. All right, now you on October 1st, I've drawn a timeline here. Here's one accounting period ending here, the other accounting period ending here. On October 1st, you were hired to conduct a four-month project and you were paid in advance $400. So let's get that into $400. And I'm going to put it into unearned revenue. Unearned revenue is a liability account where you don't owe the money, you owe the service, whatever you're doing. All right, it's now December 31st, and you can see uh, we have earned the right to $100, $200, $300 of this project, but there's been no entry into your revenue account. So we need to make an adjustment then. We've had a gradual accumulation of $300, so what we're going to do is we're going to take $300 out of here because we've earned the right to it and move it down to service revenue, $300. All right, this is your adjustment now. The adjustment corrected the balance here. This one has a balance of $100. And it corrected the balance here. This one has a balance of $300. The gradual accumulation of a revenue not yet recognized, we recognize it here at the end of the accounting period. Now let's do exactly the same problem as a deferral. All right, a deferral, as the word defer means, it's the postponement of the recognition of revenue already received. So we're going to do exactly the same transactions with one slight change. Let's go to the bank and we're going to borrow $1,000 to get some money into our business. All right, there's your debit and credit. Now, when you receive the $400 on October 1st, we put it into cash, but then we enter it into service revenue. All right, you're going to enter this into service revenue. All right, we're right, not right here now, and you can see that we've earned the right to $100, $200, $300. Your, your service revenue account uh, only has, has 400 so it's overstated. Your unearned revenue account has nothing in it, so it's understated. What we're simply going to do is we're going to take the $100, which will become revenue in the next accounting period, and move it up to unearned revenue Let's make that one hundred dollars. All right, and this becomes your adjustment. Let's balance this account. That's a balance of one hundred of uh, three hundred dollars. This balance is a hundred dollars, and it's exactly the same here. We have a balance of one hundred here, a balance of one hundred here, a balance of three hundred here, a balance of three hundred here. So you can see an accrual and a deferral uh, deal with adjustments, and it's simply the way you. Uh, record uh, the transaction that determines whether it's a deferral and accrual. So we've in this particular case, we've deferred the recognition of $100 worth of the revenue that we've already received and put it up into unearned revenue. In this particular case, 
we took the portion out of our unearned revenue account and moved it down to our service ac service revenue account for the three hundred dollars that we earned the right to. Okay. If you have any questions, get back in touch with me through my uh, website. And uh, thank you for listening.